Have you ever tried fried cabbage with chicken before? 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another recipe. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you guys how to make this bomb jerk chicken fried cabbage. Before we begin, if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed today's recipe, if it was helpful, please leave a like for me and let's jump right into the recipe. All right, family, all of the ingredients for today's recipe will be listed below. So I'm starting with one chicken breast. Of course, you can add more if you like. I'm just going to slice it right in the middle and then just cut it into bite-sized pieces. Now that we have the chicken nice and cut, it's time to marinate this chicken. This is the jerk seasoning that I'll be using. Super excited to use it, first time using it. And this one is the mild one. So I am going to add about one tablespoon of complete seasoning on the chicken. Of course, as you can see, I added some olive oil on there as well. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of that jerk seasoning in there. And I'm going to use a spoon to mix everything together. All right, now I am going to cover this. Just let it sit on the side while I get my cabbage and all of the other stuff ready for this recipe. Now I'm using half of this cabbage right here. I am going to cut it. Now you can cut your cabbage however you like. I don't like them too small or too big, just right in the middle because if they're too small, they will get, well, especially for me, if they're too small, they will get too, too mushy. And if they're too big, it'll be too, too crunchy. So you decide how you like it. So I'm going to just dice them into little small bite-sized pieces. Once I have the cabbage nice and all cut up, I am going to transfer it to a bowl so I can wash it. Of course, make sure you wash your cabbage now. So set that aside while I am going to move on to the bell peppers. The bell peppers can be any color, of course, as long as they're sweet bell peppers. Now we are going to move on to the onion. You need some nice balance from the, um, the jerk seasoning. This onion will give you a nice sweet taste. So I like to add that in as well. To my medium high heat skillet, I am going to add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Once that is nice and hot, we're going to place the chicken in there. As you can see, this chicken is well seasoned, okay? The jerk seasoning was definitely jerking, if that's even a word. Okay, so we're going to cook the chicken for about, I'll say six minutes, not too long because we're going to pour it back in there. So just one, once one side is nice and golden brown, just flip it over, allow the other side to cook. So about six minutes. Now the trick chicken was looking a little too dark for me. I added some paprika for color. Not that you need it, just optional, okay? So I am going to mix everything together. It's looking good, it's looking saucy. 
this is chicken breast and you don't want it to be too dry so it's time to remove the chicken baby I'm going to transfer the chicken to a bowl and it's smelling amazing guys like this right here you can eat it all by itself it's already tasty now in the same skillet see it's looking good oh ooh, and it smells amazing too so now in the same skillet I am going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter I'm going to allow that to melt then I am going in with the onions and the bell pepper in there. I'm going to saute the bell peppers and the onions for about a minute so I don't burn the garlic and then I'm going to add the garlic. Cook the garlic for another 30 seconds or until fragrant and then you are going to add your cabbage. Now, do not add your seasoning yet, okay? You'll see later. Now I'm going to add about half a cup of chicken broth. I'm going to let that steam, cover it on medium, low heat, allow it to steam, okay? As you can see, I'm stirring it up, just mixing everything together. Do not add your seasoning just yet, honey. You're just going to water down your seasoning. So cover this on medium, low, medium, low heat, allow, the cabbage to steam until it's looking something like this okay as you can see there it is now is the perfect time for you to add your seasoning yes 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 oh no flavor yet but we're going to add the seasoning now these are the seasoning i'm using so good adobo seasoning a little bit of sazon i'm using um italian seasoning i'm using paprika i'm using a lot of seasoning in here of course they will be below be on my note <laughs> on my phone i will leave it below for you so check that out give that a nice stir just like that make sure the seasoning is just all over your cabbage Now you're going to add that jerk chicken on top of your cabbage, honey. Oh, I forgot to tell you how long I steam the cabbage. I steam the cabbage for about 10 minutes, only 10 minutes actually, exactly 10 minutes. And then, yeah, this is it. Basically, I added the chicken in there. Um, just allow it to simmer for a little bit. And boom, this is your jerk chicken fried cabbage. So, so, so good, so flavorful perfect side dish for i don't know rice and peas baked chicken it's so good with a side of mac and cheese it's so 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 good you guys the heat was perfect because i added some dry pepper flakes in there too oh it's bomb try it out and let me know what you think ooh 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 Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Let me know down below if you're going to try this one out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I upload amazing recipes that you don't want to miss. We almost at a million. Yay! I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye.